yes so welcome back to my channel and previously in this playlist i have created couple of videos which are pertaining specifically to 16s rrna gene sequence analysis with the help of phylogenetic tree construction so in this two videos that you can see the last two videos over here i have been very specific to the audience that in order to construct the phylogenetic tree you need to use the type strain sequences of 16s rrna as a reference to compare your sequence and to construct the phylogenetic tree so in this video i will explain how you can redrive the type strain sequences of 16s rrna uh, so let us continue so what you need to first do is that you need to go to the web browser and in the web browser you need to just type atcc which is american type culture collection and you need to go to this web page which is called as atcc.org so the web page the interface of this web page will look something like this okay so in the first uh, search bar what you need to do is that you need to give the name of the genus for which you want to search the type strains so i will type bacillus and i will click on the search button so as soon as i click on this uh, search button here a new page will open where they will show all the strains that are deposited in into atcc so the list will come in front of you so as as i can scroll down you will see that the genus is bacillus but the species is different okay so i will just scroll down and you will be able to see different species of bacillus now what is the main criteria over here is that you need to check this one important thing uh, that is mentioning type strain so it has to be yes so if i see this entry over here which is bacillus subtilis okay and when it says type strain yes means i can retrieve the sequence of 16s rrna gene of this bacteria okay so in order to do that adjacent to this entry of bacillus subtilis on the right hand side you will see that is something which is called as a download genome so you just press on this download genome button over here and the new page will open over here so as soon as this page open in front of you you will get the information about the whole genome data of this organism but for us what is important is that we need only the 16s rrna gene or any gene sequence that you are constructing the phylogenetic tree for so for that you need to choose an option which is the genome browser which is just adjacent to the overview so i will click on this option which says genome browser and as soon as i click over this a new page will open over here so i will just press allow cookies over here now what you see over here is the different genes of this bacteria okay so you can search for the gene of interest in this case if we want to retrieve the gene sequence of 16s rrna so over here in this this filter annotation uh, search bar you simply type 16s okay as soon as you press on 16s uh, you will see over here th the option will appear in front of you which says 16s ribosomal rrna okay so uh, in the entire genome it will just show what is the end po start position and the end position of this gene and if you want to retrieve the sequence of the 16s rrna then what you need to do is that you need to just go on the right hand side and search for this three button a uh, three dot button and press on it as soon as you press on this button there will be two options uh, that will come in front of you you need to choose the first option which says copy nucleotide sequence so i will simply copy the nucleotide sequence okay uh, i will minimize this window and on to the desktop you can create the new notepad file you can give any name of your choice to this notepad file for now i will just give the name sequence and in this notepad file i will open this file and i will simply paste it so this is the sequence of 16s rrna the entire gene sequence of bacillus subtilis type strain which is taken from atcc the next step is to convert the sequence into the faster format so for that what what we should do i will just show you over here so you again go back to the uh, web page you copy this entire name of the organism along with the atcc number go back to the notepad file and 
at the top of this notepad file you just give a enter and and on the top of the sequence you paste the name of the bacteria with the ATCC number you do some modifications to it the way I am doing right now in front of you okay you convert the sequence into the faster format so in order to do that what you need to do at the beginning of the first line of the entire file you give the greater than symbol and at the back you simply put a comma and write 16 s or 16 s r rna gene okay so in this way we have retrieved the sequence of bacillus subtilis uh, 16s rrna gene type strain from atcc okay so you can keep on doing this with the another species of the same genus okay for which you want to construct the phylogenetic tree okay so suppose now if you want to retrieve the gene sequence of another bacteria what you need to do is that you simply you can go back again you go back and onto this page now you can search for the uh, next bacteria for which you want to retrieve the gene sequence so uh, i will not retrieve the sequence of this bacteria because it is not the tripe strain now you can repeat the entire procedure for the next bacteria so that is bacillus megatarium why because it is a type strain you simply go to this download uh, genome option and repeat the steps when you repeat the step you just keep on compiling the sequence uh, in the same notepad file over here so like this you can paste the another sequence and start compiling the notepad file which you can later on use uh, to construct the phylogenetic tree so this is how you can uh, make use of atcc website itself in order to retrieve the sequences of type strains of any genus okay so i hope you like this video i will catch you guys into the next one thank you